What is up guys, my name is Ignis, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a portfolio update for the month of September. We'll check what was done in the account, what positions we've added into, how much in dividends we received, and later we'll go into the portfolio tracker on Google Sheets to get into the progress just a bit further. An early thumbs up is greatly appreciated and with that out of the way, let's begin. So the month started with a dividend from a consumer discretionary named Starbucks, ticker symbol is BUX, $4.87. Then I've added 300 new dollars in and started a new position in a tech named Accenture, ticker symbol ACN. For those $300 I got 0.87 of a share at $343.03 per share. Then September 4th, two names paid the dividends. Consumer Staples Walmart, ticker symbol WMT, $1.48, and Semiconductor Intel, ticker symbol INTC, at $0.82. Cents. Now September 9th, Materials, Sherwin Williams, ticker symbol SHW, $1.03, and then the same name, Healthcare Amgen, ticker symbol AMGN, almost $5 at $4.96. Now September 13th was a good day. Firstly, Industrials, 3M, ticker symbol MMM, dividend of $1.06. Then Healthcare Walgreens, ticker symbol WBA, $0.98. Cents. Then Communication Services, T-Mobile, TMUS, again $1.01. And lastly, tech name Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT, $1.33. Then September 16th, one dividend from consumer staples Tyson Foods, ticker symbol TSN. $2.19. September 18th, Consumer Discretionary McDonald's, ticker symbol MCD, $3.52. September 19th, Industrials, Northrop Grumman, ticker symbol NOC, $1.59. Then we have Financials BlackRock, ticker symbol BLK, plus $3.37 in dividends. Another dividend a day after September 25th, Financials FIS, $2.30. And lastly for the month is Technology on September 27th from Qualcomm, ticker symbol QCOM, at $1.99. So these were all the dividends that were received in the month of September. And now let's get into the portfolio tracker to check where we currently are with the dividend progress. So we are now in Google Sheets. I've summed up all the dividends for the month of September. And the sum came in at $32.52. Comparing it to September of 2023, with a dividend sum of $27.40, this is here an annual increase of 18.7%. Looking into the graph on the right, we also find that this month's dividend was the largest we had over the last 4 years. Now currently the dividend sum for this year is $177.01, so we likely still need 2 months more to beat the sum of last year which was $203.28, and I think will probably be around 10% higher for 2024 at $220 for the year. Now what interests me is not only how much in dividends I'm receiving, but also what kind of expenses can be covered with it. So here I have a list of my monthly expenses in numerical values, and also the dividend income, that I'm receiving from the portfolio on an annual, monthly and daily basis. So it is expected that the portfolio is bringing $292.82 a year, which comes in at $24.40 a month, or just a bit shy of $1 at 80 cents per day. So now considering my monthly phone bill at $6, that is easily covered more than 4 times. Now getting into the internet bill of $15, also covered more than one and a half times. And the next monthly bill I'm counting is clothing, which should be at around $25. So with $24.40 in the monthly dividend income, we are now very close to it at 97.6%. So just 60 more cents to go here, or rather increase the dividend income by 2.4%. Now summing up all the expenses, I'm calculating $866 per month, and with those $24.40, we are only covering 2.8% of it. So still a lot of progress to be had on it. Now let us go to the portfolio tracker. Here we have all the positions that we have in the brokerage account. So the new addition in September was a tech name Accenture, ticker symbol ACN, 
I've added $300 in, in the beginning of the month, and now the position is worth $329.59. So the position is up for $29.59, which makes it an increase of 9.86%. This new position now takes 2.05% of the portfolio, and that is 10.36% of exposure in the information technology sector. Currently the stock is trading at a dividend yield of 1.51%, but I got into the stock just a bit lower, so my yield on cost is 1.66%, and this position is now netting me $4.98 in dividends on an annual basis. Let us also check into the three largest positions in the portfolio. So third one from the top is the healthcare name Amgen, ticker symbol AMGN. In total I've added $600 into this position, and it is now worth $838.85, so that is an increase of $238.85, meaning that the position is up for 39.81%. So being the third largest position in the portfolio, it takes up 5.22% and 35.52% of exposure in the healthcare sector. Now currently the stock is trading at a dividend yield of 2.86%, but the stock is up, so my yield on cost on it is 3.99%. And the position brings $23.97 in dividends on an annual basis. Second largest position is Tech Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT. In total I've added $500 here. And the position is now worth $880.09. So we're up $380.09 on it which is a decent increase of 76.02%. Now this position takes 5.47% of the portfolio, and it's 27.67% of exposure in the information technology sector. The dividend yield on the stock is 0.17%, but with it being up, my yield on cost is also higher at 1.38%. Unfortunately, with a still low dividend, it's bringing $6.88 on an annual basis. And lastly, the largest name in the portfolio is a consumer discretionary one, Starbucks, ticker symbol is BUX. I've added just over $800 into it, and the position is currently worth $974.19. So this is up by $173.11, which is an increase from the cost basis of 21.61%. Now being the largest position, Starbucks takes 6.06% of the portfolio, which is 37.52% of exposure in the consumer discretionary sector. The dividend yield on the stock is 2.37%, and my yield on cost is at 2.89%. This is again a larger dividend, so the position brings $23.14 on an annual basis. Now looking into the dividends for the whole portfolio, as of now it is projected to bring in $292.82 on an annual basis, which gives it a dividend yield of under 2% at 1.82, but with the stocks being up, the yield on cost is actually at 2.42%. Overall, the portfolio is now valued at just over $16,000, and I myself deposited over $12,000, so there is currently a gain of almost $400, being up 33.11%. So we have checked into the portfolio, and for the last part, will determine which sector or sectors are the focus for getting money into going further. So we are now a bit overweight in consumer discretionary, with almost $2600 in overall. Currently it is 16.15% of the portfolio, and we have a target of 15%. And another larger one is materials, with $659. That makes 4.1% of the portfolio, where we have set a target of 3%. But I see two sectors in the red under targets. So healthcare with $2361. It is currently 14.69% of the portfolio. And we have a target of 16%. So 1.3% down. And then also industrials $1885. So 12.35% of the portfolio. Where the target is at 14%. So these two sectors are the focus where we need to increase exposure and I'll be adding money into them when the new deposit is available next month. So that is it with the dividend portfolio update for the month of September. Make sure to support the channel and leave a thumbs up under the video.
And that is it from my side. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Dividend dreams building up